Okay, hello everybody. I'm here to film um, a flip through of the um, April uh, journal, which is a design team project for Tina at Shabby Dabby Doodah, using some of her digitals. So it's one of my soft covers. It's a two signature. It's a little bit, a little bit chunky. Um, there are bits in it that can come out, but um, on the whole, it's chun chunky. It's got a lovely eight vintage beads on the spine and lace and lace on the cover so let's open it up and see what's going on so inside front and back cover there is a my a lace pocket and it is lined with wallpaper so it's a bit glitzy i don't know if the light is picking it up or not um a bit shiny yeah, it's fabric on the front with lace over it, wallpaper in the middle, and a, a large journal card. Um, and that's one of Tina's um, images. I'll put all the links to the kits, um, her kits that I've used in April. I keep wanting to say May because it is May now, in, in the description. They are in the description of, um, you know, me making this and all the videos of me making this are up and ready to be watched so they're in a playlist called shabby dabby doo da dt or vice versa so um, i won't explain about everything that's that's going on here because you can go on and see that i've stitched around most i noticed there's one that i haven't um oops <laughs> journal cards and pockets it's just full of all sorts of cute little um it's called Parisian. The papers were Parisian, her Parisian collection. So um, I called this Parisian junk journal. It's a Tim Holtz flower. So mixed in with um, Tina's papers, I've got some of my dyed and gessoed own papers. So collaged on the back of her, again, one of Tina's journal cards. Side tuck pocket. of journaling space another another um, journal card used as a flip for some hidden journaling i've put paper tabs on most of the no most of the tabs that i've put on our paper <laughs> um on some of the pages i haven't all got them this has got journal cards from now No, they're not. They are the Paris Collection papers, printed small. I might have printed them four to a page, something like that. And then I've cut them up as journal cards. A page of coffee, uh, tea dyed. Some upside down roses. Beautiful blue there. So lots and lots of journal, like I said. This is um, vintage roses, journal cards and tags, also Tina's. Um, what have we got in there? A Tim Holtz journal card <laughs> and one of my envelopes. Whoops, go back in. It does fit, it's just been awkward. Um, a lovely gifted die cut and another one of Tim Holtz's journal cards. Two more of those same tags that are Tina's. I've stitched around both of those. Some lovely shabby lace and sari silk in the top and this is one of my um, scrappy lace pockets and this one is on some card so it's quite strong behind and one of those lovely blue pages oh we're stuck what, what, what? we shouldn't be round two we should only be round one <laughs> um so i've used tickets and tags and um, labels for the tabs um, i've just clipped this on here with a, a little lacy clip this is from a previous kit of tina's Just thought they'd be nice you know for you to put wherever you wanted them or not just leave them attached I like that little bit of bling blue bling hanging out so this is an embossed envelope again one of tina's images on it um and a little tab and inside i've just put some vellum i think yeah just some pretty vellum to play with and um, just something a bit different you can write on it no problem or create with it the coffee dyed tea dyed 
one of the two page and the envelope is just stuck down so that there's a few tickets you know you can you could stick some journal in or whatever i think that's a sticker in there i've, I've left those in so you can see that it is open so just letting the pages speak for themselves there beautiful beautiful colors um some of my coffee dyed um no dyed that's one of the um what is it? It's a label that comes with the umbrellas kit. That's T Marv Tina's papers. Some of mine. These are Tina's ephemera pieces, embellishment of pieces, I should say. Another boot. It's not beautiful. Love the colour of that one. And then here, another one of those um, journal cards stitched. Spotty, splotty <laughs> pages. That's a Tim Holtz flower. Another tab. That's the back of the first signature and the start of the second. Love that blue again. In fact, they're both beautiful pages, those, aren't they? Um, they're all beautiful pages. So I've put a just a fabric tab that I had sitting around on there and a little dragonfly who will hang out on a bulb, a bulb pin, <laughs> a bulb pin. Um, so you can take him off if you want. Journal card, yes, stitched on this one. Little sticker there. Lots of journaling, lots of journaling. <laughs> um, that's one of Tina's blue labels, I believe. I know it's Tina's anyway, it's a kit. It's a kit that I've had a long time. Another one of her vintage roses tags from the tags and journal card kit another one of my shabby lacy clusters love that um just more beautiful pages just put a, a label on there so it you know gives the page a focus now this is a belly band this is one of tina's pieces and I've put it on a piece of now this is Tina's paper on this side I'm not sure that is it's just paper out of my stash um and then I've just put because belly bands are notorious for things falling out it annoys me <laughs> just put one of my um what is that it's a die cut whale tail tab and a beautiful paper clip which I believe was gifted by Angie Angie Beaumont thank you and I bought some rusty paper clips, which are fabulous from her. Um, yeah, just to hold it in there. We don't have to have it there, but I don't like things falling out, especially when I'm showing them. So, yeah, I just, not very French, I suppose. Although, Columbine could be a French word, <laughs> a French name. Um, I just thought she was pretty in there, so I'm leaving her in there. So, another one of my gifted, thank you, Violet, die cuts, just as a tuck. One of the envelopes that I made and just put a little um, Tim Holtz label on it which is French it's got one of Tina's cards ephemera cards inside and one of my labels from Stash love this lace um it's net because it hangs out the side and this is just another one just a, pa a pink a white backed piece of paper which is one of from one of Tanya's Tina's kits, gosh. Um, just stitched a lovely, lovely piece of one of my favourite pieces of lace on there. I put tabs on these journal cards, fabricy, lacy ones. Like I said, I was going to. Other than that, I've left it reasonably plain for. I'm getting a bit bent those. I'm sure they'll go flat once the the book is squashed <laughs> shut. Again, another little fabric and lace, um, or lace and lace tab at the top. And then I put another one of my, well, this was a big piece of a lacy snippet that I had left um, from my previous ones, not the one I've just made, the ones before. So I put one of those little um, Cupid um, charms on it, again on a ball pin. Another one of Tina's, white backed, but good for journaling on. Um, labels, French. 
another flip out nothing behind that one just waiting for you okay, in a plain beige just one of tina's pieces of ephemera embellishment <laughs> I didn't stitch around that one. I don't know why I didn't stitch around that one, but I'm done with it now. <laughs> it's moving on. So that says Bank of France on there. That's one of Tina's labels. Put my kit. Now these are all Tim Holtz bits in here, but they're all French. I just put a bit of ribbon in that one. Even this is a, well, it's not French, <laughs> but it's Tim Holt. So there's room for you to put your own, own stuff in there. Um, a lovely die cut from Violet again. Thank you. Yep, lots of space. Just a lovely, lovely, it was a nice, light, delicate page, so I thought it was crying out for a piece of, of scrappy vintage lace, which is what it got. And then this beautiful pink and red roses um, back page. And then the other journal card, which is a sister to the one in the front. And that's it. Um, I didn't count the pages, I don't think, but there's a lot. <laughs> there's a lot of pages. It will be in Etsy um, soon. Might even be in by time. This, yeah, should be in, hopefully. We'll see by time this, this goes up. But yeah, I've really enjoyed making it. Thank you for watching me and I hope you've enjoyed the flip through. I'll see you later. Bye for now.